I have here a book entitled St. Peter, The Underestimated Apostle by Martin Hengel. Martin Hengel, as you know, is widely recognized as a conservative scholar. And uh, Martin Hengel uh, now recognizes that there has been a split in the early church. There's been a, a, a division between Paul on the one hand and Peter on the other hand. This division is actually explained in more detail in a book uh, by, entitled The Evidence for Jesus by James Dunn. What uh, these scholars are showing is that uh, two streams uh, of uh, teaching went out in the early church. My, my video is back up, but now I'll just go without it. Two streams of teaching. On the one hand, there is Paul, and hence we find uh, in the New Testament uh, statements about uh, uh, Paul saying, for example, that uh, God came down, humbled himself, became Jesus, Philippians uh, chapter 2, the Carmen Christi that uh, uh, Nabil spoke about. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse number 6, uh, Paul takes the Shema Israel and he makes uh, two persons out of that one. In the Shema Israel, there was only one Lord God, and now Paul makes it one Lord and one God. One Lord Jesus, one God the Father. He splits them. So uh, we know the Hadron Collider has split the atom recently. Now Paul did a splitting way back when. Uh, but Paul is representing one particular view here, and the view of Peter and er other early disciples of Jesus did not survive to be written for us in the New Testament. We do have two documents that are named 1 Peter and 2 Peter, uh, apparently letters of Peter, written in Peter's name actually, but according to Martin Hengel, these are pseudonymous uh, works which means that somebody else wrote them using Peter's name. Why would they want to do that? Well, one reason is that if you look at 2 Peter, you will see that 2 Peter praises Paul and speaks of him as brother Paul and speaks about his letters as if these are scriptures on par with the scriptures of God. What these scholars are saying is that somebody who is a follower of Paul, wanting to show Paul in a good light, and wanting to show that Peter accepted Paul, wrote this in order to promote Paul. Martin Hengel was professor of New Testament and early Judaism at Germany's prestigious University of Tübingen from 1972 until his death, July 2, 2009. He is the author of dozens of monographs and literally hundreds of technical articles. He received honorary doctorates from the universities of Uppsala, St. Andrews, Cambridge, Durham, Strasbourg, and Dublin. Uh, he says Martin Hengel now recognizes. Martin Hengel is dead. Uh, so I do think he recognizes the Trinity now. Um. <laughs> Nabil Qureshi just mocked the death of Martin Hengel, stating, Martin Hengel is dead, so I do think he recognizes the Trinity now. If Nabil Qureshi is really dead, now he has recognized Trinity is false. Like, share, and subscribe to create awareness. We are also available on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and PalTalk.